So art artificial intelligence and AI is, um, is something that sometimes strike fear in the hearts of imagers, especially since there have been um, some people on the computer science that have predicted we won't need radiologists anymore once the, um, once the computer takes over. I don't think that that role is there. And had you been at the Radiologic Society of North America meetings last week, there was a lot on artificial intelligence because it's a topic that is quite um, on the minds of many imagers. Um, I think the role of artificial intelligence is, is going to help us in a few ways. Um, one is there are a number of relatively rote and routine tasks somebody has when he or she reviews an image. Having a computer perform some of that rote analysis for you, um, identifying some of the underlying data and quantitative features means that whoever is interpreting the image can really use his or her experience in looking at it and let some of the more menial work happen from the computer. I, I'm ready for that to happen tomorrow if it does. Um, uh, another thing that we will do is the computer can be a second pair of eyes sometimes. So not everybody has luxury of practicing in an academic institution where we read out with very highly trained residents and our colleagues, um, and maybe off, off on his or her own reading those scans on their own. Having a computer give you a second look to make sure that you haven't missed something or overcalled something will be important. To me as a researcher, one of the most exciting parts of radiomics is there's a lot of information in our images. You know, we can look at a scan, you can have a good breast image or look at a scan and say, this is not only a breast cancer, it looks like a triple negative. So there's something in the structural features in these images that trained minds can see. And if the computer can help us identify some of those features and discover things about the tumor we hadn't seen before, that's a very exciting time. It reminds me when the discovery of genes was really revolutionizing the approach to cancer. I'm hoping Radiomix will have a similarly revolutionary impact upon the discovery of, um, uh, of new aspects of biology and new ways to diagnose and treat patients.